sentiment, I like to court women appropriately. And I, you know, I thought she was a stand up woman, you know. She so short answer, no, I don't think that you were tripping. Also, uh, I think you're just going to have to say thank you next. I think you're going to have to move on to the next dating situation. I think you just have to chalk it up to this was just a a bad dating experience or and you just got to move on to the next one um long answer though um i think that there was just miscommunication on both parts from you and from her did you do anything wrong as far as being uh willing to share your blessings and pay for everything and take her out on different days and and pay for things for her kids and you know, just share the wealth. Were you wrong for doing that? No, not necessarily, but I will say be careful about doing boyfriend behavior when you are not the boyfriend. Just like people tell women and girls all the time, like, you know, don't do wife stuff, don't do girlfriend stuff for people that you're just dating and this, that, and the third. Unless it's just truly out of the kindness of your heart and it's just something that you really feel like that you want to do, then obviously do that. But also at the end of the day, you know, look, if the milk is free, why buy the cow? Like that type of mentality. And that just applies across the board. You were doing things. Um, it sounds like to me, you were really just giving everything that you had literally um, to someone like you said that you were just dating. So there really no, there was nothing that for her to have to earn, so to speak. Um, not that she didn't deserve it. Not that you know, but let's just say that this was someone that uh, was not going to end up being a long term relationship or end up being a wife or anything like that. You were already putting everything out there. You were putting all your eggs in, in the basket. You were giving her this full blown, full girlfriend, wife experience when maybe she was somebody who didn't deserve it or didn't um, appreciate it, if you will. Um, but even if you weren't going above and beyond, even if you were just doing stuff that was like, okay, this is just normal for dating. I'm a nice person. I like, I just, you just wanted to do it out of the kindness of your heart. That's great. Fine. Boom. What I think happened was, I think that you put your best foot forward and I feel like, you know, you really got feelings for this girl. It sounds like y'all went on a few dates. So obviously I'm, I'm guessing she had um, a lot of feelings for you, probably mutual and I think that you were ready to have a conversation about taking next steps. How serious are we? What are we? And instead of asking her, where does she stand? How does she feel? What does she want to do? I feel like you tested her. Um, and tests and dating isn't necessarily always a bad thing, but also you got to be cognizant of what if I test someone I might not get the response or the results that I'm looking for and you tested her which is fine but you got slapped in the face when I don't think you had to be um I think that pride and ego got in the way on both parts so what it sounds like you did was and maybe you didn't but for anyone who's listening to this what it sounds like what happened was you you tested her You've been doing all of uh, these things um, in in a financial standpoint, in a lucrative standpoint, you know, kind of not throwing money around, but you've been very generous with your money from a financial standpoint. And obviously that is a big deal in just in, in adult life and in dating and things. And so instead of just having a conversation or to see where she stands and how much she appreciates it or um, if she's even acknowledging and all the things that you're doing, you tested her to see if she was going to do the same. Because I noticed when you were telling the story, you were like, oh, well, you know, I asked her seriously, but jokingly, would she buy the popcorn? No, you were serious. You were trying to see, okay, is somebody going to match my free A? Is somebody going to, no, I'm just playing. But no, you, you were trying to see if she was going to match your energy and match you and be generous even on a small level, you you respected the fact that she was a single mother and had kids and has responsibilities and the hurricanes and this and that and the third is going on. So you weren't expecting her to pay you like your light bill, but you just wanted to see like, 
hey, if it ever came down to it, does she have me like I have her? And whether she could do that or not, buy you a, a bucket of popcorn, maybe that popcorn was a big deal, more of a big deal to her, financially speaking, than it, than it is to you. Should that be something that was like a given, like I just took you out to this $300 steakhouse and, and you couldn't even give me a bottle of popcorn? Like, yeah, like when you break it all the way down, does it sound fair? Does it sound equal? No, not necessarily, but that, you know, $10 that she spent on that box of popcorn might have been $10 for a field trip or for something else that kids are so needy. Kids need things all the time. And I think that, um, you know, that is not the best um, deciding factor whether or not someone is going to be down for you or is going to be there to help you out um, you know, if times get hard or, you know, if they're willing to do the same thing for you as you have done for them. Okay. So I think what happened on her part, even if she was able to afford that box, a uh, bucket of popcorn, I think what happened was, and why she was annoyed, why she was aggravated is that you presented this, um, type of, of experience to her and you kind of pull the rug out from under her so sorry i got a call but w what i was saying was i think what i was saying was um when you asked her to get the popcorn um i think that you pulled the rug out from under her you created this experience of oh baby i got you like I'll pay for everything. Money, money is no object. Not money is no object, but like you said, you were courting. You were going out of your way to put your best foot forward and, and show her these things, and she took that to heart. And y'all dated for long enough that you you showed you made a pattern of oh I got you. I'm gonna pay for everything. Don't worry about anything. And then all of a sudden you switched it women are not dumb and not that you thought that she was dumb but let me just say something anytime you think you're testing a woman she knows exactly what the test is because i'm so sorry and I, this is not me trying to be mean this is not me trying to you're not as clever as you thought and that's why you made a point in your video to say, I was being serious, but I was joking about the popcorn. No, you were serious. And she knew that. You know what I'm saying? Because no, obviously, obviously we know, we're all grown here. We know that you obviously didn't need her to buy the popcorn. But you could obviously couldn't seriously ask, A, hey, can you get this popcorn? No, you had to do it in a joking way. But in the joking way, you wanted to see a genuine response. But we as women, we know that. So she probably took offense to you testing her because she probably, look, sweetie, you ain't the first and you're not the last. She's had plenty of men probably try to whine and dine her. And you question her integrity when you could have just had a conversation about it. Right. And I don't know the ins and outs of your relationship and how many times you asked her to go out or, or, or whatever, but you blindsided her with this thing and she should have had a more genuine response to you instead of kind of more or less blowing up at you in a text message. That should have been a phone call. Both of you should have been real and honest about how you felt. She should have said like, Hey, this made me feel this way. Why did you do this? And suddenly be like, I can't believe you did this. Like you asked me to go. You you threw her off because you jarringly switched up the flow. You were playing, you know, Prince and Knight and Charmin Shining Armor. And then all of a sudden you're like, but what you going to do for me? And she was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because I didn't ask you to do that. You came at me this way. So just be honest with how you feel. Don't do too much for women that you're not actually dating or, uh, or not actually in a relationship with. And women, just be honest. Everybody just be honest with communication. 
And so, yeah. So just take it as a lesson learned. Be honest for how you feel. Sorry that, that it happened that way, but yeah, that's my two cents. Bye.